how do you prevent muscle loss when you're dieting? In this week's episode of Walk With Me, I'm sharing my top three tips. Let's get into it. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Walk With Me. This is Josh here and today we're talking about how to prevent muscle loss when you're dieting and you're at a calorie deficit. And the topic actually comes from the community this week. Uh, the question was asked by Mikey Ha and he had asked, not sure if you've done a video on this, but can you explain how to know if you're losing fat and not muscle on a diet? I was actually a little surprised I hadn't made a video on this already, so thank you Mikey for the awesome question. But let's just jump right into the tips. Make sure you're using all of your muscle groups and exercising them on a regular basis. When it comes to muscle when you're at a calorie deficit, it is very much a use it or lose it type of scenario. Even though I've talked about in the past how you don't need to exercise to lose weight, a really good way to help ensure that you hold on to the muscle that you do have is to work out those muscles regularly and it's just a really good and healthy thing to do so make sure you're working out on a regular basis if you're able and this will help prevent that deterioration significantly all right so tip number two you want to make sure that you're hitting your protein goals you want to aim for at least 0.8 grams of protein per pound of lean body mass when you're dieting if you're more of an intermediate or advanced weightlifter, you know, you might want to bump that up to one gram per pound of lean mass, but there's no need to really go above that amount. I made a video a couple months back about how to calculate how much protein you need and the best ways to hit those protein goals. So I'll be sure to link that video and give it a watch if you're having trouble hitting your protein. Another tip I will give for this, supplement your diet with BCAAs. That stands for branch chain amino acids. You know, the exact reasons why it works are a little bit out of my wheelhouse scientifically. I know the amino acids just help repair your muscles like protein does when you eat it. So make sure you're hitting your protein goal. Um, check out that video if you're not sure how much to eat and supplement with BCAAs if you're having trouble hitting that goal. All right, and lastly, you want to make sure you're not running more than a 500 calorie deficit. So essentially you want to take your total daily calorie burn. This is otherwise known as your TDEE. Subtract 500 calories from that number and just make sure that you're not running your calorie deficit below that 500 number. You might be able to lose weight quicker adding it to 1,000 calories burned a day or 1,500 extra calories burned a day. But when you run into that more extreme fast weight loss, your body will burn a lot more muscle along with that fat. So in summary, one, make sure you're exercising all of your muscle groups on a very regular basis. Two, make sure you're hitting your protein goals and if you're not, supplement with some BCAAs and keep working on hitting that goal, it's very important. And three, make sure you're not going over your 500 calorie deficit every day. That's gonna be it for me this week, everybody. Make sure if you have something that you're struggling with or having trouble with, leave it in the comments down below. I love having those real world examples to make future episodes that are gonna help the most people. And be sure to like the video while you're at it. It really helps me out a ton, really helps the channel grow. And subscribe if you're not already. I put out new episodes of Walk With Me every Monday. And I put out recipes and vlogs and nature videos and all sorts of other stuff up on Fridays. But until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.